Hey guys. <clears throat> Welcome to 7 Minutes in Heaven. I'm your host, Pornhub Arrier. Pornhub Arrier. Okay, so to preface this entire situation, I am like very jet lagged and um, not wearing makeup and just overall like not that cute right now. So just like bear with me and just try to remember that I'm actually good looking. Um, so today's special guest is Jada Kai and I'm really excited to speak to her because last time we had um, like a plan, I fucked up I think. And anyways, long story short, I made a funny post and then I felt really guilty about it afterwards. So I'm just gonna swallow my pride here. Let's go get her. Hi. Hi. Look, I'm here. <laughs> you're here. You're on time and you're so pretty. I'm very jet lagged. So just please ignore this. I think you look so hot right now. So I don't know what you're talking about. I forced you and backed you into a corner to say it, but it's fine. I just haven't slept in six days. Um, welcome to Seven Minutes in Heaven. Thank you. I'm excited. Yes, I'm so sorry for the last time with my post. Like, you and we're good. Yes, we're good. Jackie, I was like, you said, what's it, Ariel? <laughs> it was funny. Yeah. I wasn't upset about it. I was like, she has a different sense of humor. <laughs> Probably it's very inappropriate, but like, you know. Work. Um, they're doing like construction outside. I don't know if you can hear it, but me too. I was so nervous. I had my window open, and then I was like, "No, no, no! You got to close it because I'll be able to hear you." Yeah. So you know, we might have a like a little bit of extra background noise today. <laughs> All about it. Um, so, so, you know how this works. Yes, I like really want to hear about your parish trip, but <laughs> um, my parish trip was amazing. Like, truly amazing, but, like, this is what I've now been dealt with because I'm just, like, it's a six-hour time difference from what I'm used to, and, like, no amount of melatonin or sleeping pills are going to fix it. Right. So we just have to roll with it, but it was incredible. It was, like, such a dreamy place to visit, you know? Yeah, it was, like, every single post you had, I was, like, it looks like a fucking postcard. I know. I <laughs> At the time, I was taking photos, and I was like, this doesn't even look real. I look like I photoshopped myself into like, the ice <laughs> But I was like, this works. This is how art people. I was like, is she even there? Is this green screen? <laughs> my, my, my mom texted me at one point, and she was like, um, are you really there? Because it really doesn't look like you're actually there. And I was like, no. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. Uh, okay. Let's get it going. Okay. I'm ready. I wish you could put like, filters on, on live. Because Wait, I, you can. Oh. Well, now I can't do it. See? <laughs> How do I? I don't. Okay. How do I even do that? I think it's like in that like top part. Okay. Anyways, whatever. Um, you're hot. So what's one positive thing that's happened to you since quarantine? Um, I started therapy. I feel like that's a really good thing well it feels like a good and bad thing because I didn't realize like how emotionally like draining it would be but yeah. that's like one good thing yeah um, oh, I feel you on that yeah the problem is everything comes to the surface and then you're like oh this actually made everything worse yeah I'm like I'm super sensitive right now I think that's why Jackie was like can you be nice <laughs> I was like I'm fine I'm just Sensitive. Ever, like I really, I will fix it for you. <laughs> you know, you're um, fine. What's your ultimate romantic fantasy? You know, I am just like 
I love going to arcades. I would love to just like have an arcade myself and someone special and just like win everything like end up with like one of those like big bears maybe do a little bit of like trails or something <laughs> oh wait that's actually really fun i would do that romantic fantasy with you like, okay good let's do so it really in. like that's really fun to me okay but yeah fantasy that's just like a dream day right yeah. okay okay date night you and i we are on okay um what piece of current media would you currently recommend I got really into Squid Games. Are you Squid Games? Um, you know, I haven't started watching that as much as I love like Korean. Like, I got really into like Korean dramas like during quarantine. Yeah. Um, but I haven't started watching Squid Games. Like, whenever something new comes out and like everyone like talks about it, I'm kind of like, Ugh, it's a new trend that like. But I always want to see what, like, the hype is about. But I feel yeah. like, and, and, like, and, I mean, I literally started watching it for, like, 10 minutes. And I was like, what? why? What is happening? Yeah, it was, like, when Game of Thrones was happening, I was like, I'm too good for this. Yeah. <laughs> Never. Don't have okay, so you and I, we were, like, the same. Yeah. Um but I started listening to Call Her Daddy because I was going to L.A. a lot. And I have so much fun with Father Cooper. Be yeah. like, her and I just bond, like, on my road trips. Do you know how many times I have slid into her DMs from both my area account and my Pornhub account trying to, like, get, like, a one-on-one -on -one with her? <sighs> I feel like... I feel like we could really connect. Right? Yeah. Like, I feel like it's just a perfect synchrony. Synchrony. <laughs> Whatever the word was. Yeah. Baby! I know. I think she's so fun. I, like, laugh with her in the car. I really genuinely think that we're friends, even though we've never spoke. But call yep. her daddy. Yeah, call her daddy fucking rules. Sometimes it's a little too deep for me, and I'm like, I can't, I can't go down this rabbit hole with you guys. But, like, I love it. I also yeah, really she gets emotional. Yeah. But that's not, like, a recent thing, the emotional part. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I vibe with her. Ditto. You know, we should probably do <clears throat> a podcast. Yeah. Millions. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay, what's the perfect amount of time to have sex? Um, like seven minutes. Like, I think it's called seven minutes of heaven for a reason. I am right? on the same page as you. These people who are like, oh, an hour, two hours. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing with all that time? I know. I'm like, are you filming a feature? Like, <laughs> why? <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. Like, my videos are like usually like 30 minutes, but if it's like sex for me, like seven minutes. Like, I can come within the first minute, and then, you know, like a six-minute show for your partner, and then yeah, so, yeah, no, 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 same. Like, like. Honestly, I would say, like, four and a half to six minutes is, like, a gorgeous window. You know? Yeah, I mean, I kind of, like, count, like, the, the post-sex, like, <sighs> like, recovery time as part of it. So, like, I agree with you, like, the, the six minutes. Yeah, okay, fully. I mean, I love you, I think. Um, what did you want to be as a kid? Yes, a figure skater. I actually went home and I found like my old journals and I was like reading one page. I was like, I think I was like probably nine at the time. And I was like, when I grow up, I want to be a defense lawyer. I was like, did I even like, I barely know what that means now. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't know why I wrote that. I think I was just trying to be like daddy's like pick me girl, you yeah. know? Oh, I just, I just learned about what if, oh, from Call Her Daddy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, totally. I, do you know that I would tell people that I wanted to be a forensic pathologist, not knowing really what that meant. And everyone would look at me like I was like Wednesday Adams and only 
as I learned what the actual job was, I realized, like, you sound psychotic. Mm, see, yeah, I was really into, um, like, Nancy Drew. I thought I was going to be her for a little bit. Yeah. I went through these weird phases where I was like, I'm going to be an archaeologist because that cute guy in the mummy. Like, yeah. <laughs> me too. I, I, archaeology, I was like, I love bones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to be, like, in Egypt with, like, yeah. a duster. And I thought yeah. that you could but live what, like that. The whole dinosaur. <laughs> obviously is the point of this um what's the weirdest sex tip you ever heard um so i met this like really kinky couple they mentioned like pop rocks like bringing pop rocks to the bedroom and i was like mm, that kind of sounds like a uti and a really bad idea yeah so i don't know rocks in in holes yeah, like, on the pussy, and, like, they would sprinkle Pop Rocks on. He would, like, eat her out. And I, and they was, she was like, oh, it's, like, so fun. It's, like, a party down there. And I'm like, okay, when did you do that, and how is the aftermath, you know? It's, like, the concept is fun, right? But, like. Yeah, like, in theory, you're like, oh, that might, like, tickle or something. You know what I mean? But in practice, it's like, oh, did that go up? Am I going to pee that out? What's going to happen? Do I need an antibiotic now? You know? Yeah. It's like it's stickiness. It yeah. was like, oh, I don't think I'm going to do that one. I remember my ex-boyfriend, we were at like sleepaway camp and he had told me a story about a girl that he had hooked up with like when he was younger. And um, she like, I guess to taste good, she like put like, um, remember those like lipstick candies? Like the um, Yes. Like, a lollipop, but it was, like, supposed to be a lipstick. Yes, 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 yes. So so she, like, rubbed that all over her, like, vagina, and she thought that, like, that would make her taste good, and he was just like, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> now you don't taste good for weeks. <laughs> it's not the move, kids. Not the I've move. also heard of, like, using, like, what is it called? Like, sepical to, like, deep throat because it, like, numbs your... Your oh, throat. Like, is that make it? Oh, interesting. But I feel like if you can't deep throat, like don't push yourself. You know? Yeah. Like. It's okay. You know. We'll still like it. <laughs> yeah. But just like you know. Anyways, um, what's something about you that people would be shocked to know? Um, <laughs> I have a temper, probably. Um, I feel like if I, you're, you like have to have a temper. If I'm what? If I feel like if you're a competitive figure skater, you kind of mm. have, or like you have a little bit of, um, you know, what's her name? Inyo? Oh, Tanya. A little bit of I, Tanya in me. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you like, you're judging your opponents. <laughs> okay, I'm glad that's not like so surprising. Yeah, it's not so surprising, but you're so cute and like small and like, precious that probably it's like it's like a squirrel attacking a you know like a baby or something it's just like, <laughs> it's, it's almost like you don't want to stop it it's like oh that's cute <laughs> just like a little angry chipmunk exactly like you know like, <laughs> um if you could wake up tomorrow morning next to anyone in the world who would it be Ah, like, you know, as this conversation is going, we have our, like, romantic date coming up. Like, can I wake up next to you? <laughs> Honestly, I'm down as long as you're okay with this situation. Yes. You know, I'm the same during jet lag, even though I look, I think you look fucking hot right now. Well, um, yeah, I would, that's an honor for me. Okay. I'll bring my anxiety blanket and a, an extra pillow. Okay, and then whatever we win from the arcade, we'll just, like, have a we'll little snuggle party. Yeah, exactly. But we'll we'll put them in the bed, but then we'll do that, because we got to know who's is who's. Right, right, right. <laughs> you know? Um, how do you cheer yourself up when you're down? Um, I kind of, like, sulk, and I, like, go into bitch mode. 
Okay. These are things I do not recommend for everyone that is in here right now. <laughs> I like or I murder like three or four people. Yeah, you know, you know, lock my, lock myself away after that, yeah. after the murderings. Yeah. Um, and I don't know, after I get in that mode where I'm like, I'm not fucking talking to anyone, I just like need to be by myself, I'll like go for a drive and like play music really loud, like yeah. cool, cool off a little bit. I'm probably like a bitch to everyone. And then once I get it out of my system, I'm fine. Yeah, and you're back to normal. I respect that. That's an honest answer. Some people are like, oh, I, I like to read and meditate. And I'm like, that's I'm not like, true. how the fuck? How do you do that? That's like, what? True. Who gave you those superpowers? Because yeah. uh, you're just, that's not, you know, you like punch a wall and then you feel better. You know what I mean? Yeah, I literally have a wall, a, a hole in my bathroom. <laughs> From punching it, I support it. Don't don't plaster that. <laughs> there is, it's not plastered. I bought like a little Amazon shelf, and it's like covering that. But you can like it when you get angry. <laughs> I actually discovered a tip. So, um, like when I'm anxious or like I feel like kind of a bit of rage, I go get a leg wax, and like the feeling the tightening of your body like because you know what's about to happen and the ripping and everything like that releases something i've never experienced i'm telling you i'm pretty sure it's a type of therapy yes i love that and that's like a good way like a very functional way to do like so far exactly and like <laughs> also kill two birds with one stone Yes. You know, you're like, oh, I don't have hair on my legs anymore. And I'm not mad. Yes. Like, I didn't harm it. Wow. That is a great idea. Stick with me. Have you ever been to, like, one of those? They have them here in Vegas where they they have these, like, destruction rooms. Oh. Well, I think here they have, like, an axe throwing room. Is that what you're talking about? Well, I think it's actually at the same place. They have that, but they have, like, old, like, computers and stuff, and you can come with, like, a baseball bat and, like... Really? Yeah, but I'm, like, I can't, like, plan that, you know? It's, like, I have to buy a yeah. ticket. You gotta just, you gotta just, like, let it happen. So I agree that's probably not, like, the... Unless you're always angry. Yeah. You know? But I've, I've always wondered. To, to channel that, you know what I mean? harness that energy you know yeah i would love to play sometimes yeah i mean you know really? and you go with like a spacesuit on i think and you like oh. beat it up yeah oh my god i love it okay we should do that when i'm next in vegas okay two tiny tiny squirrels <laughs> uh, okay right last question if you could have any question or mystery in the universe and are aliens here? Are they? Is Elon Musk an alien? Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's like normal. I, think I don't he's know. Like subhuman. Yeah, I think like when like Boston Dynamics comes out with like new things, I'm always like, they're fucking aliens, right? Right. Are they? <laughs> I mean, I I can't confirm, but I can't deny. Yeah, so I kind of, like, want that answered. You know, of course it'd be fun to, like, know how the world is going to end, but I like the element of surprise. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty so. sure ending, like, pretty soon. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it, feels, it feels like it's coming, you know? It's too near. <laughs> you know, it's coming. It's happening. It's, like one world disaster after another i'm like oh god i'm yeah. gonna be here when it happens yeah yeah no you probably will it's i i, I just feel like i don't want to know just because then i'm just gonna be like sitting around waiting yeah i don't think i like even if i knew when i was gonna like die or whatever i probably wouldn't change my life right yeah. I don't I'm know. 
time like being patient about it you know what I mean not that I want to have the world end but like I, I think I would have a hard time being patient waiting for it but I don't think I would change anything I'd still sit around yeah. it would be like too hard to like plan like I barely can plan like a vacation like how do I plan a life I don't know what I want for dinner I can't like figure out the activities I need to do before I die just fucking surprise me you know yeah okay well, this was so much fun. Thank you so much. Honestly, you're my favorite. Oh, I love you. I love you. And again, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't sorry. say sorry anymore. Please tell Jackie. I'll tell him. My love. Yeah, I'll tell him we made up. And It was our first fight as a couple. Yes. And yeah. you know what? Now we get to like live our romantic fantasies together. We're waking exactly. up next to each other. It's gorgeous. Yes. Okay. Well, have an amazing rest of your day. You too. Get some sleep. Not likely, but thank you. <laughs> well, actually, don't sleep now. Sleep later. Yeah, no, I know. I force myself to stay awake and then I'm like a baby and I get overtired and I can't sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, this was fun. I'm yeah. glad I got to like talk to you. Oh, so fun. I always like creep on you on the internet. So this was fun. So much fun. Okay, let's let's do this again sometime soon. Okay, we'll talk later. Bye. Bye.